a massive earthquake struck the southern Italian island of Sicily earlier this week. The tremor, measuring approximately 6.7 magnitude, was felt as far away as the city of Catania and the eastern coast of Sicily, as well as the island of Malta and parts of Calabria on the Italian mainland. The earthquake's epicenter was located not far from the slopes of Mount Etna. This earthquake caused panic among residents and drew the attention of scientists as it occurred near increased seismic activity beneath Etna over the past few months. Experts suspect the earthquake is related to magma moving beneath the Earth's surface exerting pressure on the crust surrounding the volcano. In a recent study, scientists from the Italian National Institute of Geophysics and Volcanology INGV, discovered a new way to monitor magma movement beneath Mount Etna. They analyzed the ratio of small to large earthquakes, known as the B-value, over the past two decades. The results showed a strong correlation between changes in this value and increased volcanic activity on Etna. The B value is an essential parameter in volcanology because it indicates the level of pressure and strength of rocks beneath the Earth's surface. As magma moves up through the Earth's crust, the resulting pressure can change the B value. The more small earthquakes that occur, the higher the B value. Whereas if the rock begins to fracture significantly and pressure increases sharply, the B value will decrease a sign that an eruption may be imminent. According to Marco Ferretto Carlino, a geophysicist at the INGV Etna Observatory, magma movement alters pressure and stress in the Earth's crust. By continuously monitoring the B value, we can understand the stages of magma's movement from depth to the surface, he said. Mount Etna itself sits on a collision zone between the African and European tectonic plates. Beneath it lies a vertical fault known as a strike-slip fault, which serves as a natural pathway for magma to rise to the surface. This interaction between the two plates has contributed to a series of large earthquakes like the one that recently occurred in Sicily. In a recent study, scientists mapped the structure beneath Etna and found that the crust in the region is up to 30 kilometers thick. Magma doesn't just fill one large chamber, instead, it flows through a network of layered storage zones at various depths from 11 kilometers below sea level to several kilometers above sea level within the volcano's body. As magma rises from the deepest layers toward the intermediate and shallow storage systems, it passes through a complex network of fractures. Along this path, the rock becomes brittle and easily fractures, generating numerous small earthquakes before a major earthquake struck Sicily. Mount Etna's last eruption spewed a 6.5-kilometer-high ash column and triggered an avalanche of hot material from lava blocks and volcanic debris. Fortunately, the eruption was well predicted, allowing local authorities to issue early warnings and evacuate some high-risk areas. This monitoring is crucial 
not only for the safety of Sicilian residents, but also for understanding the dynamics of Europe's most active volcano. If underground activity remains high, the volcano could be approaching a new eruptive phase. Therefore, the INGV continues to strengthen its monitoring system and warns the public to stay alert for early signs of more intense volcanic activity in the Sicilian region.